you on the Ryobi 40 volt push mower. Let's start with the cons first. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. It'll get the job done if you have a small yard. I don't like that it doesn't come with a side discharge attachment. My son's playing with the mulch attachment and it comes with the bag attachment. So you kind of have to choose because it's rear discharge and you can't have stuff shooting at you. Plus it won't start unless you have one of the attachments on. It's got a safety mechanism in here. This handle collapses for storage, which is nice, but you need to have it fully extended and latched to mow for the power to kick on. There's a shutoff switch in there. And sometimes when I'm turning or sometimes I just want to push it without the self-propelled, it will shut off. It'll jam in just a tiny bit and the whole mower dies on me. And that's a little frustrating at times. So not a huge fan of the plastic wheels. Uh, they do feel a little cheap. I don't really mind the plastic body. It makes it light, which is nice. But the plastic wheels do feel cheap. Uh, quick pros, it is lightweight so I can move it around real easy so it's kind of fun just to get out if I need to mow a section. Um, it does come with a 6 amp hour battery that will work in my Ryobi 40 volt chainsaw, which is nice. Um, and it's quiet. I don't need to wear earplugs. They probably recommend you wear earplugs, but I tend not to. And I can mow outside my kids' bedroom without waking them. So that's nice. So I'll get things started on here. It lifts up. There is a key. I never use that. I just take the battery out when I don't want to use it. it slides in there. It has a spot for a second battery for storage. Uh, if you're way out. But that's it. And this is a little tricky because there's a delay to it. You pull the black one. And then if you, once you have the black one pulled, the power is on and you can just pull the green as your self-drive. And if you want to start the mower, hold the black, start that. battery out. You can see the blades themselves are not the thickest, heaviest duty. Again on my Honda it has two sets of blades for better mulching so I prefer mulching with the Honda but this is a fairly thin lightweight blade and doesn't seem to have much lift to it to pull the grass up. I got the discharge chute for this, the Ryobi 40 volt mower, and it makes a huge difference. It, uh, I think the mower is too underpowered for mulching and doesn't have good blades for mulching, and I'm too lazy to do the bagging thing. Um, and so this is really the only option with the power and the blades that it has for me. And it goes on just like the bag clips right on no big deal height adjustment knobs real easy what setting do I have it on the second one it goes ridiculously high I haven't measured but it says four inches and probably believe it I don't ever cut that high but it does all four wheels at once which is nice and it does store nice I don't regret getting it but I think I wouldn't get it again as of now. Maybe it'll grow on me more. I'm getting a lot of use out of it though. So I must like it a bit. So what's my review gonna be? Get it if uh, you got a smaller yard and don't mind overlapping occasionally to miss the blades of grass that you got. And if you got a big yard or you're in a rush, Get a gas powered or a ride mower. <laughs>